What up everybody welcome back it's your boy worst effing gamer and welcome to another hero spotlight today we have the second hero of the month of december and as you can guess it it's a conjuring stone hero today guys and i'm really excited to see this guy in action because he seems pretty sick so let's go ahead without any further ado we have a free pull and it's El eldor eldor okay that sounds pretty sick eldor we got a free pull here so we're gonna try that one out what are my chances to get this guy Free first time pull. I doubt it, but let's go. Oh, but three pieces is not bad. Let's just go ahead and just do the pen 10 pull, guys, right now. Let's see what we're gonna get here. Oh my god! Oh, okay. Conjuring stone pullets suck, but nice step pull here. Let's go ahead, and uh, my luck should be a lot better now. Yes! Oh, calm down. All right, the Dark Ranger. Yo, what is this guy supposed to be? Wow, this dude seems sick. All right, so oh my god. So this guy is a half breed between a goat and some kind of a demon. <laughs> really sick, guys. Oh my god. All right, so uh, I actually got a good amount of them right now. So we're at 27 pieces. To get him to four stars that might happen later on i'm not sure about that guys but we'll have to find out and see but for now let's go ahead and let's start the spotlight on our boy aldor all right guys so there he is aldor is ready to go here so i got him to level 100 already this morning that's when i did my pulls now uh the reason why i did that is because i wanted to work on his uh, ultimate throughout the day and now it's actually later on in the day i finished off his ultimate and uh, I'm going to continue on fusing him and going through the spotlight as usual. So let's go ahead. Let's begin. Let's fuse this boy all the way up till the end and see what he's going to do. Because I got another 20 ability points which I can do now. Which we're going to definitely get uh, a lot better sense of what this guy is all about. And I'm going to try to see, you know what I'm saying, how good he can be. Because I want to give you guys my best honest opinion. And let you know if he's worth it or not. Because uh, Conjuring Stone is no joke. And um, you can definitely blow a lot of diamonds in the Conjuring Stone. But we'll see if this guy is worth you know, the investment. Because look wise he seems awesome. He seems really really sick. And I definitely would love him to be super super strong. And Conjuring Stone heroes come with an awakening anyway. So he's going to have an awakening. Which I should be starting fairly soon, alright? So, I'm very excited about that as well. Come on, purple plus four. There we go. So, let's go ahead and take him to orange. And one more. Nope, nope. Misclick. Misclick. Alright. Let's go. Two. Orange plus two. Alright. There we go. Maxed out. I'm just going to go ahead and give him all the equipment here. Damn, I'm starting to run low. On equipment. That's not good. Oh my god. Alright, here we go, boys. Bam! There she has it. Eldor. Per, uh, orange plus two. All equipment items on him. So let's go ahead. Let's break down his abilities here and see what he's going to do. Because his ultimate, Demonic Emergence. When Eldor has sufficient energy, he can transform into a demon. Whoa! Energy required depends on the star level. Ah, so if he's seven stars... It only requires 50% energy. Alright, so there's a lot of heroes like this already. Haruk is kind of like this, you know, where his ultimate doesn't need to go all the way up. Halfway you can use his ultimate. So this is the same way. If he's seven, Once once Elador is 7 stars, at 50%, you can start his ultimate. So I'm guessing every star level below that is 10% less. That's what I'm guessing. But Alright, in demon form, he uses... Uh, wait. He uses expands energy quickly. Does that make any sense? In demon form, he uses expands energy quickly. Ha! <laughs> Typical typo. So he's going to expand a lot of energy, obviously, when he goes into this form. And, um, and can attack enemies from a distance and is immune to all control abilities. Whoa, that's pretty sick. If the illusionary clone ability is unlocked. Alright, so that's the second ability. When Eldor triggers this ultimate, he will summon an illusionary warrior of equal strength to be the one, whoa, to the one summoned by the ability. Damn, are you kidding me, dude? That's freaking sick. So there's going to be two of them, essentially, in the battlefield. 
whenever the summoned warrior will remain in the field for a short time. Oh, however, this all right. So, however, the the clone is going to be there only for a short amount of time, not forever. But still, that's pretty sick. So, whenever you use this ultimate, if you already unlocked illusionary clone and that's an effect, then you will summon another clone of this guy. So, I have two heroes going back and forth attacking everybody. That's pretty dope. So, I'm kind of liking that demonic emergence. Let's go ahead. Let's check out illusionary clone. Elador summons an illusionary clone of himself to assist him in a battle. So let's go ahead. Let's get this to six points and level eight illusions. That sucks. That's really weak. So we need to upgrade that all the way as, as fast as possible. Third ability, Soul Steal. When Elador has less than 30% health, he will automatically begin stealing life force. Whoa, from a nearby unit. So that their remaining health amounts are swapped. What? He's going to swap health with an enemy. That's pretty dope. Elder can restore up to 60% of his max health through this ability and can only be used once per wave. Yo, that's really sick, guys. Because um, if it wasn't really sick, <laughs> they would not only permit it for only once per wave. If this was a shitty ability, he can use that throughout the battle. But you know this is a really, really good ability. That's why they're only allowing you to use it only one time. One time?! Alright, so uh, allied heroes retain a minimum of 22.8% health. Enemy heroes retain a minimum of 26% health. Deals a maximum... What the hell is all this? Deals a maximum of 11,000? That's over 9,000! 11,200 damage. That doesn't make any sense at all. Wow, what? Wait a minute, let me go over this again. This doesn't make any sense. So when Eldor has less than 30%, he will automatically begin stealing life force from a nearby unit. Single unit, okay, so he's going to steal there. So that their remaining health amounts are swapped. Alright, gotcha. So they, he's stealing their health. Eldor can restore up to 60% of his health through this ability, which can only be used once. Makes sense. Now, when you read the description at the bottom, that doesn't make any sense. Allied heroes retain a minimum of 22.8 health enemy heroes retain a minimum of what the freak doesn't make any sense at all to me right here does this just mean that he will retain th that 22 percent health and then the enemy is going to keep 26 percent so every time this goes up let me see let me see if i'm correct every time this goes up that should go up and that should go down oh i got you all right now it makes sense guys so when they say allied heroes, they just mean Eldor. They could have just replaced that with Eldor. Eldor will re, you know, will take away 22.9% of their health, but it cannot go lower than 26% of their health. So that makes sense now. All right, demonic, demonic blood. The demonic blood running through Eldor's veins gives him an added strength, increasing his health. That's it. So this is just a bonus health. Ugh, I hate these abilities, you know what I'm saying? Because they could just easily give that into his stats and give him another sick ability and make this guy awesome. But they don't do that. All right, so let's just go ahead, spread these around. And then let's take a look at the True Sight, which is his awakened ability here. Enemies, wait, enemy summoned and illusionary units take additional damage. If they die, Eldor gains health equivalent to 10% of the unit's max health. Okay, so don't make a freaking mistake and use Kong to counter Elador. Don't freaking do it. That would be the biggest mistake ever, guys. Even Gorum. Oh my god, don't use Gorum against him either. Because this guy is a clone and illusionary killer. So uh, all clones and he's going to gain health. Wow. Well, now I'm kind of thinking about it and I'm like, this guy is his own worst enemy because if you, meaning if your opponent has Elador and you have Elador, he's going to be able to summon an illusion which will increase, which will take a lot of damage from your opponent and then increasing this guy's health. Alright, anyways, I'm just jibber jabbering a little bit here guys, so uh, let's just go right ahead and get this dude into a battle so we can see what this guy looks like in action. And uh, let's go ahead, guys. Okay, freaky dokey. Let's go, guys. Let's see what this guy is going to do all alone. Damn, dodge is pretty good. All right, that was the illusion that he summoned, but died really quickly because it's only level 8 illusion, not that strong. 
But uh, I'm surprised this guy is not taking that much damage here. He's actually pretty good. There's another illusion. Two illusions. Holy shit, holy. There's three of them. He's attacking his own illusions. Oh, never mind. God damn it, I'm shot. Those are the illusions from Cla from Aqua, guys. Don't forget. Yo, this dude looks sick. Holy moly, look at that. All right, so that's his ultimate, guys. Transforms, summons an illusion here. Kapuya, Kapuya. Ha <laughs> ha, that's sick. Wow. All right, so his ultimate is incredible. All right, go. Look at his ultimate. Transform, summon another guy, which is just like him. And then, well, only if the other abilities have been used already. So this, these guys are immune to physical. So this dude is a physical hero that you know is going to be good in the arena right now. God damn it. Beast status mode. Wow. So he's going to die here because I'm facing freaking physical immune heroes. Wow, but I am very impressed. This dude looks awesome. And look, he swapped that Soul Eater ability. He took away some of their health. And he went pretty, uh, you know, a good amount of health back up. That's pretty freaking sick, dude. And then you can go again. You can use his ultimate. And he transforms into a beast and starts going at ham and bananas. But I got to leave that battle. You know what? That's chapter 16 here. Let's go ahead and try him. Um, you know what I'm going to do, guys? Go crazy. I'm going to try him on a big-ass chapter 17 here, guys. Chapter 17, all alone, I just want to see what he can do. And these guys are immune to magic, right? Yes, good. So they're not immune to physical. Maybe this was a mistake. Go, Elador! Don't die! All right, here they go, here they go. Come on! Go, 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 go! Go! Yo, this dude is... He's gonna die, buddies. Damn, he's dead. But damn it, yo, his damage is insane, dude. Wow, I'm really, really, really surprised. This dude looks like he's going to be a beast. All right, did I mention this dude was going to be a beast? This dude is going to be a freaking beast, guys. I'm pretty excited about Alador. Damn. Oh, wow. So, Demonic Emergence is an insane ability, guys. Jesus freaking Christ. This dude just goes into a crazy rage. Transforms a lot like Prince of Persia, but a lot better than Prince of Persia here. Oh my god, and then he also summons another illusion to make him better, to, to have two of them on the field. And Jesus Christ, it is insane. It's so much damage output. Wow. Physical attack by 6,000 while ability is active. So, increase physical attack by 6,000. Do you know what that means? That's crazy. Let's just take a look at his physical attack right now. So, normal physical attack... Without enchanting, without doing anything else, it's at 3,400 right now, plus another 600. So increase that by six freaking thousand, though that makes him around 9,000, 10,000. So just think about that. At three stars, when he goes into his ultimate, it increases his physical attack to 10,000. And I will just compare really quickly to one of the, you know, better offensive heroes in the game. Not you! Let's go to Batman. He's got pretty good stats. So let's take a look. So Batman's is 5,000. Another like 6,600, right? But that's pretty much all it's going to go up. Let's check out Volko. Volko's is a little bit more. 6,000, 7,200, something like that. But nowhere near 10,000, guys. And it's only three stars. So you can just guess how powerful this guy is going to become. When you 7-star him eventually, that's going to be insane, dude. Wow, dude. Very, very sick hero. Frontline DPS has massive amounts of hidden power. He sure freaking does. And I can't wait to start this guy's awakening because I really, really want to get this guy awakened right away, guys. So, that'll be it for the spotlight. I will check you guys out next time on another hero spotlight. Till then, have a good morning, good afternoon, and good night. Peace out, everybody.